Visionary writer-director S.S. Rajamuli of the Bahubali fame is back with another mega hit. RRR took nearly 300 days to film and thousands of hours in post-production to create the visually stunning VFX blockbuster. Grossing over $175 million worldwide, with $2.5 million from Japan alone, this epic set in colonial India is garnering worldwide appeal with its Bollywood-style dance numbers, epic action sequences, and stunning high-end visual effects. As the film gains momentum in the Film Critics Society after winning the Atlanta and New York Film Critics Circle Awards ahead of the Oscars, I got to sit down with the key team members behind the scenes. Let's hear what they had to say. The entire film is a grand visual spectacle. It is, you know, everything is, wow, you know, whatever adjective you want to put in there. Which was your favorite final scene or moment in the film? So animal hover, where all the animals jumping out of the truck. So that is like uh, uh, one of the toughest part to get the things because it has a lot of technique. Uh, of course, we had a support, big support, that emotional support from the uh, screenplay and uh, character designing. And it's like Beam is like highly uh, uh, like uh, pumped up. And uh, so that even though when we do small, small mistakes, like all the uh, re-recording and uh, uh, all the other things it's took over, but still that is one of the most, uh, best uh, uh, thing which we, I, I uh, like that. Uh, yeah, one sequence which really like popped up right from the time of shooting was Ram's introduction. It uh, really stands out and I really enjoyed uh, shooting it because at the time of shooting itself, it was like uh, giving a very uh, overwhelming feeling that, okay, yeah, we are, because that was one of the first schedules of the film and like, uh, okay, we are going in the right direction, that kind of a feel we got and the scale was everything being shown. So that is how, uh, and uh, yeah, we tried to maintain it throughout. Uh, if you ask me, yeah, that is my favorite sequence uh, from the film. Uh, it's it's a kind of like a flip of the coin, really, between two. And 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 uh, Sendel's already mentioned like one of them, which is obviously the police station one, which was the first uh, episode we were involved with. Uh, so I'm going to go because he's already he's already put that in the mix. I'm going to go with the 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 latter part of the 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 hand to hand fight in the in the intermission phase. The final thing, were, though, for me, and the kind of icing and the you know the cherry on the top, was basically I knew that as soon as we had these this episode come in, that there were going to be these hero moments, so to speak, these kind of like paintings, if you like. This 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 shot's going to be an iconic one. This shot's going to be an iconic one. We know the framing on this needs to be perfect. We know that the fireworks going around his head is going to be it's going to need to be within a certain composition and a design that's going to be have to be just right that and at any time someone can freeze frame it and go post up yeah my my favorite scene is probably the the one i got to work on which is the the bridge uh, sequence in the beginning where they where they meet up and uh, i obviously i i knew what was going on i knew that this was the the moment where the the heroes were going to meet for the first time um what i didn't know is that this was also the basically the the title uh, the title shot you know where they join hands and 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 the title comes up and and just you know hearing the roar from the the audience in in the cinema uh, on, in that moment was uh, was super super cool from a technical standpoint I guess the the uh, the wide shot of that whole area they, like in the beginning of that sequence where where Ram uh, comes running out there's a like long pullback where the camera kind of travels and travels and travels backwards and you, you see that whole area um with the bridge and and everything and and the villages on on each side and and, and so on and all of that was created in, in visual effects and and was probably one of the the first shots we started to work on and and one of the last ones to go out the door because of you know so many details that need, needed to go into this that was also very rewarding to see on the big screen the miniature to the scale and the blast has to be controlled blast and Danny lost there. I think we had a fantastic time shooting that. I don't know. See if we it's a, it was a challenge. The whole film was a challenge, and this was extremely challenging because 
we had to have real uh, scale also where the whole thing falls onto the water where the fire spreads onto the water and then how it comes out rigging everything was a uh, uh, quite tricky i think it is a team work ultimately i give to everyone who was a part of this one and ultimately to rajmouli he had a vision and he wanted it so we worked around it actually very very collaborative uh, effort it was like a combination of as universe mon told it was a combination of so many things like stunt guys were there like vfx guys were there production guys then uh, miniature so it's like a, a huge combination of uh, so many things uh, coming together and uh, yeah as uh, daniel told it was a title sequence we did not know that i see like the title was going to come there kind of it was later designed it was least later on it was decided that title is going to come there so because like the sequence came out so well so like it is a complete collaborative effort of the whole team that uh, we could pull off this uh, sequence whose idea was it to put the title there at that point is anyone in the <laughs> room audit on that ask kiravani garu <laughs> yeah it was uh, uh, my idea uh, to uh, do some gimmicks here and there to make it more interesting raju akhtar while many expected this to be india's official entry into the oscars that didn't happen but rrr will most likely be competing in the visual effects category against such films as avatar 2 and top gun maverick if it were to win it would be the first ever film made in india to win in that category at the oscars we at dia tv will be paying close attention so be sure to follow and subscribe to get all your diaspora news as it happens i'm your host carrie lane and we'll see you next time right here on dia tv